Okay, we're going to have another example now of using Venn diagrams to determine if a categorical syllogism is valid or invalid. Uh, here we've got all dogs are mammals, no mammals are reptiles, thus no, no dogs are reptiles. Okay, let's start off by labeling. Top left will be top left, top right, top right, and we have one letter down here below. Again, if we had a universal and a particular statement, we would diagram the universal statement first. If they're both particular or both universal, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in this case, they're both universal. I'll start off with the second one. No mammals or reptiles. So I'm focusing my attention on the M and the R circles. No mammals or reptiles would have shading in this area right here. What that's going to do, that shading tells me where things are not. So here we're saying mammals are not in the reptile area. If any mammals exist, they're going to be out here outside the reptile area. For the first premise, all D or M, I'm focusing on the D and M circle. So we'd shade this area here. Perhaps use another color so everything's as clear as possible. And what that's going to do, that shading says there's nothing in this area. If there's any dogs, they would be over here. No dog would be outside the mammal area. In fact, all dogs would be mammals. If there's any dogs, they'd be here. We might ask if these things exist. We know there's dogs. We all agree on that. There's only one place left for them to be. So given the traditional interpretation, we could put a circled X there because that is the only place dogs can be. It also gives us some mammals. There's only one quadrant open in the uh, reptile circle. Since we know reptiles exist, we could be justified in putting a circled X there. And that would be a complete picture of the traditional interpretation. We would now ask, is this enough information to absolutely guarantee what's being said in the conclusion? What the conclusion wants to say is no D or R. So we would expect the area where D and R overlap to be completely shaded, and indeed it is. So there's enough information in this premise, in these premises to guarantee the conclusion, that makes for a valid argument.